As much as I've enjoyed this impromptu workbench taking up all the space in my garage, I think it's time to start cutting it up in order to box the frame. I need to take this C-channel frame and put plates on it so that it has a rectangular cross-section instead of a C cross-section, and that will stiffen up this frame considerably. Now there's a couple issues. For one, the gas tank goes here on this side, so I'm not gonna be able to box that section because the gas tank's there, and I also need to account for those wires, that brake line, and on the other side there's going to be fuel lines, so I need to make sure that I can still run all of those properly. So the other big concern is that I don't want the frame to rust from the inside out, so I need to make sure that I prevent corrosion on the inside of the frame. In the last video, I painted the inside of the frame with this 316 stainless steel spray paint, and I'm hoping that that spray paint will hold up to me welding this sheet onto the frame. If it doesn't, if it burns off, then I'm gonna get some corrosion on the spots that I welded. So that's what I'm going to do today. Let's get started and hopefully we don't run into too many issues. Let's go. Here is a test fit of the first plate on the first side. It fits all right, so I need to pull that off and paint it. But in the meantime, I'm going to make up the plate for the other side and then I'll paint them all at once. And tomorrow I'll weld them on. So let's get started on the plate for this side now. Hold your comments. While I was editing this video, my girlfriend pointed out to me that I have no idea how to stick weld. She pointed out that I made a couple mistakes here, and I probably made these mistakes throughout the whole video, so the two things I did wrong. First off, when stick welding, you should weld from left to right, the same way that you read if you're from a western country. Now the reason you weld left to right I don't really understand something to do with not sticking your face in the smoke and actually being able to see the weld pool. Who knows? The second thing that I got wrong was when you're stick welding, you want to angle the stick in the direction of travel. The phrase is, if there's slag, you drag. So you want to drag the weld pool. You do not want to push the weld pool. And this whole video, I was pushing the weld pool. That can add slag inclusions and it's not a good thing. So weld in the direction that you read and drag the weld pool. Do not push the weld pool. So 
The issue for me is that I am way more accustomed to TIG and MIG welding, and with TIG and MIG welding, where they don't use flux, at least as long as you're not using a flux core wire, you push. But it's the opposite with stick, you pull. So if there's slag, you drag. Keep that in mind.
that's motor mounts finished. A few videos ago, in order to install the Dana 50 3 quarter ton front end in this Explorer, I had to cut a section out of the engine cross member so that the pumpkin could clear. Next, I want to reinforce the section that I cut out while also making sure the pumpkin still clears. This frame is almost ready to start putting the drivetrain back in. I'm hoping next video is when we really start putting things back together. Spent so much time taking things apart and fabricating and I'm hoping we can start putting things back together next time. So if that's something you'd like to see, then subscribe and stick around. Thank you for hanging out with me in my garage today and hopefully I'll see you next time.